The Amahachabe Royal House has announced that the burial of the late Queen Noliso Sandile will be held on Sunday the 12th of July. Well, this afternoon, the community is to be informed on the status of the funeral and the Royal House will outline the details of the funeral arrangements for the late Queen, whose death was linked to COVID-19. Abongile Janchis is our reporter there and he joins us now to explain how the Royal Family will be conducting what the, the uh, conducted in line with the COVID-19 regulations. Abongile, thanks so much indeed for joining us. Uh, it's a difficult time for the royal family, but I suppose uh, some rituals still need to be followed, uh, but all of this under the shadow of COVID-19. A very good afternoon to you too, Peter. Well, indeed, it's a very difficult time for the royal family here. Well, uh, they are still in mourning, Peter. Um, but they are still preparing for the funeral, which is, what, as you rightly mentioned, it's on Sunday. Well, the premier was here earlier on, and just just uh, just inside this building here, the MEC for Traditional Affairs, Koli Lengata, is also here to discuss these preparations. But... As we had hoped, we, were, we thought that um, by now, the, whether or not the official funeral or which category would, would the Queen will be receiving will, would have been announced. But the presidency, still, the presidency and the office of the Premier here in the province, they are still discussing those, uh, they are still outlining those issues as to which category will be granted. But the royal family has confirmed that an official funeral will be granted to the Queen as she will be sent off. But throughout this day, there will be throughout the day before we go to sleep today. It would have been announced, but that is not not yet now. Not yet now, Peter. But to tell us more, I do have the spokesperson of the family, Prince Zolile Benz Ngamasha. Sir, thanks a lot for your time. Um, we just came out of a meeting there where you were outlining some some preparations that will take place over on Sunday. But kindly take us through. What exactly will be happening? Uh, well, uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity and uh, humble greetings to the viewers of SABC uh, 404 channel. Uh, indeed, uh, Her Majesty the Queen will be laid to rest on the 5th, uh, uh, on the 12th of July uh, 2020, which is uh, Sunday. And uh, the service uh, will obviously start with the um, church service, which uh, will take enough time, consistent with the time allocated as per the regulations for the funerals uh, in the context of the lockdown. So the finality of the program is a matter that uh, will be concluded uh, between uh, the Royal House, the Church, as well as a government. Um, as you have correctly said, the Office of the Presidency, together with the Premier's Office, uh, are almost at the tail end in terms of uh, giving details that will outline uh, the level at which uh, the uh, funeral shall be uh, conducted. Uh, um, whilst we're speaking inside, the, you said you've cut a number of ceremonies, especially traditional ceremonies. Exactly what has been cut to accommodate this lockdown? Uh, well, as you would understand uh, the body of the deceased is normally received at the uh, royal house um, and a short service will have been done uh, inside the house. But uh, in view of the current regulatory uh, framework uh, that will not be done uh, save for uh, ensuring that uh, um, 
the necessary uh, traditions shall be observed in as far as uh, the Queen will pass over the uh, royal house as she will be led to the final resting place. Um, she lost her life to COVID-19. You mentioned, you also mentioned inside that she was a pioneer to teach the communities about the dangers of not keeping social distancing and not wearing masks. And I understand that she was in the process of building a clinic for the community. How will you ensure that her legacy lives on? I think um, as an epitome of uh, high health standards, uh, we think that uh, the best tribute that could be uh, bestowed upon her would be to soldier on with her vision of uh, building a healthcare center for the community around here and also encouraging uh, people, the community and the nation in adhering to all the safety measures uh, that would uh, ensure that we live a safe uh, life uh, within this period of the pandemic. We really want to urge uh, all and sundry to ensure that uh, we maintain the social distance, we keep to the safety measures uh, that have been endorsed by the World Health Organization, support uh, our government in all its endeavor uh, to uh, win the battle against the pandemic. It's only a matter of uh, behavioral change from uh, the citizenry. Government can do everything up to a certain point. Beyond that point, it requires all of us to take responsibility. And that was the message of the Queen that let us make sure that uh, we take full responsibility to make sure that we do not only live for ourselves, but we live uh, being cognizant of the future generation to whom we will bequeath this country. Lastly, who can we expect at the funeral? Who are the high dignitaries that are expected there? We will be obviously guided by what will be outlined by the um, president's uh, declaration. And, and however, as I said before, we are equally mindful of the fact that we uh, have serious constraints in terms of the numbers that can attend. Uh, the other mechanisms that will be explored would be to look into uh, the technologies that can be employed to ensure that people, even if they are not here, they would have access to the proceedings. Well, sir, due to time constraints, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you very much. Well, Peter, there you have it, the royal spokesperson, the family spokesperson telling us um, that the preparations that are underway, well, it's yet to be announced, but by the end of today we would have known. From us here at Mungasha, great place, it's back to you in studio. Abongile, thanks very much indeed uh, for that update. All right, so uh, we leave the Eastern Cape now. and uh, we